Today, we are going to take a first look at the brand new Snagit 2022. So what is Snagit and why would you use it? Snagit allows you to screenshot and also video record your PC screen. Once you capture your screenshot, Snagit comes with an incredibly powerful editor that you can use to annotate your screenshot. Now, you might be thinking, this sounds an awful lot like the snipping tool that comes pre-installed and also for free with Windows. And it's true, there are a lot of similarities, but it's kind of like comparing Microsoft Paint to Adobe Photoshop. If you need to communicate steps or document processes, Snagit just makes all of that so much easier. We're going to start with how you can even get Snagit, then we'll look at how you can use it, and I'll also highlight what's new with the 2022 version. All right, let's check this out. To get Snagit, you can click on the link up above, and I've also included a link in the description down below. Once you land on the website, you can purchase a license, and that costs about $60. Or you can also sign up for a free 15-day trial. That way you can test it out to see if it'll make your job any easier. Once you finish installing, you'll land in the capture tool. And this is what you'll use to both screenshot and also video record your screen. Everyone keeps asking me, what is the recipe for the famous chocolate chip cookies at the Kevin Cookie Company? Everyone seems to think that it's a secret recipe. But little do people know, we have it freely available on our website. I'm going to use Snagit today to pull together a process document that shows people how to get to our recipe. Within the capture tool, you have the all-in-one tool. This allows you to take both screenshots and to record videos. If you want to configure some of the settings up front, here I can click into image or video. Here I could change things like the selection area, how I want to share it, or whether I want to turn on my webcam while I record my video. As I go through and I change these different settings, I could save a preset and that way I can get back to this configuration very quickly in the future. I just want to stick with the basics, so I'll go with the all-in-one tool. All of the defaults here look good, so I'll click on Capture. Now, as an alternative, you can also use the hotkey down below. In my case, it happens to be Print Screen. Here, I'll click on Capture. Now, I can select the area that I want to capture, or I could use one of the suggestions. Here, as an example, when I hover over my browser window, you'll see that it just highlights the website and it ignores the browser Chrome. That's a pretty nice design. Also, as I hover over the browser window, you'll see these different arrow icons. These allow me to take a scrolling screenshot. So what is that? Well, you'll notice that the entire website doesn't quite fit on my screen. This allows me to take a screenshot of the entire website. Also a nice feature. I'll click on this arrow icon. And look at that, I now have a screenshot of the full KevinCookieCompany.com homepage, and that looks beautiful. Now, of course, I want to screenshot the end-to-end -end flow. I'll go back to the capture tool, and here I am on the website now. I'll go up and click on Recipes. On the Recipes page, I want to take another screenshot here. So once again, I'll capture this page. This looks good. I'll go back once again, and this time I'll click on chocolate chip cookie. And once again, I'll take another screenshot on this page. Now, this is the recipe that turned us into a billion dollar company. So hopefully you get the chance to make this recipe and also enjoy our cookies. Let's now click on open editor. And within the editor at the very bottom, I can see my library of recent screen captures, and here we see the three screenshots that I just took. Up above, I can also open up the full library experience. And the really neat thing here is I can see where I took all of my screenshots, so it makes getting back to content really easy. 
Here, for example, I can see all of my screen captures from my browser, or I can see all of my screen captures from a specific website. The new feature in 2022 is your library is now synced across different cloud providers. What that means is, let's say you have a second PC also with Snagit installed. You can get the same exact library of content across all of your different devices. Let's now go back into the main editor view. Back on the main editor screen, I now wanna create a flow that communicates how you can get to our cookie recipe. In the top left-hand corner, I'll click on the create icon, and then I'll select image from template. Here, I see a bunch of different templates that I can choose from. Now, I just wanna keep things basic, so I'll select basic two step. First, I need to type in a title. I'll type in how to bake chocolate chip cookies. For the flow, I'll go down to the bottom and I'll select my first screen capture. Here, I can drag it up and release and that's now part of this flow. Next, I'll type in a description. I'll do it again for the second step. Here, I'll select the image and I'll drag it up to the top. And here too, I'll also type in a description. Now, this is a basic two-step flow, but I have three steps on my flow. So do I need to go back and create a new template? Well, over here, I can click on this plus icon and I can add another step to this template. When I click on this, now once again, I'll go down and I'll select my screen capture. I'll drag it up and here once again, I'll type in a description. I've got my flow now, but I wanna make things extremely clear. Here, I have all of these different tools that I can use to accomplish that. I can insert an arrow, text, callouts, shapes. And when I click on more, I have even more tools that I can use. First, let's add an arrow that points at recipes. Next, I also wanna add text that says click here. Let me also redact the coupon code since it's not currently available. On the next screen, here again, I'll add an arrow and this time I'll point it at C recipe. On the last screen, here I'll add a call out that says, here you go. To make it a little more fun, I'll also add some cookie stamps around it. Now that I finished the flow, I'm ready to share this out with the world. In the top right hand corner, I can copy it to my clipboard and then I could paste this anywhere. Alternatively, I can also click on the share icon and look at all of these different places that I can share it to. I'll select email. Now let's say instead of an image for my flow, I'd rather just record a video. I can do that as well using Snagit. Back within the capture tool, once again, I'll select the all in one tool. Here I can select the website and now I can click on the video icon. And new in 2022, I can now include my webcam while I record my screen. Once I'm all done recording all of my steps, back in Snagit, I have some very basic video editing. I can cut out different portions and then I can save as a GIF or I can export a frame as a PNG. The screen recorder in Snagit allows you to record some pretty decent videos, but if you wanna edit them, once again, the functionality is fairly limited. TechSmith has another product called Camtasia that also allows you to record video, but the video editing capabilities are far beyond what you'll find in Snagit. All right, well, that's a first look at Snagit 2022. If you decide to bake the Kevin Cookie Company chocolate chip cookies, use the hashtag Kevin Cookie Company. I'd love to see what you end up creating. To watch more videos like this one, please consider subscribing. All right, I'll see you next time.